Life will never be the same for any of us, and I never would have imagined this would have been my life. I've endured some tough losses, deaths of both my parents and a beloved Grams, but no one could have prepared me for this kind of loss. Loss of dignity and self-esteem in a relationship that was manipulative and emotionally abusive, then coming to terms with having to grieve the loss of that relationship, losing the trust and respect of my one and only daughter, my baby girl, the one who made me a mom, due to the irresponsible, inconsiderate, and irreversible actions of her father to exploit her mother and create a narrative of shame to an impressionable 12-year-old girl. Loss of feeling safe in the safety of our children and the feelings of helplessness and fear with you around. Loss of a budding relationship and a friend who innocently and ultimately suffered the greatest loss, his life. Loss of words when my boys ask if they will be grown-ups when their dad gets out or when our daughter lashes out in anger and blames herself for those actions or when she can't sleep at night because of the flashbacks and nightmares that you created, or when I have to talk her off the ledge because she can't take the overwhelming feelings she has as a result of the trauma, or a loss of self-respect when you and your family slander my name, blame me, and lie about me, when those evils are known as well as I do, that sit behind those blue eyes, slick smile, and big words, and yet I continue to allow them the freedom to have a relationship with our kids that they choose not to pursue. A loss is greater than I could ever imagine, but we will continue to survive these losses, and I will continue to choose love and kindness to move forward and to nurture and mother my children with. I will teach them all the good things about you, and I cannot fix the damage you've done, but I can minimize the long-term effects, and I intend to do that with love in my heart every day. You should have just waited for colder weather. This is meant for dad. Um, so, no, I think we're good. 13 letters was the beginning. Not realizing that the next three years of my life would be taken from me and consumed with learning how to be my own person. Watching myself go into a really dark place was hard. Getting out and regaining my confidence was a whole new level of difficult. I never thought seven years ago, this was the way me, my mom, and my dad's story ended. It breaks my heart to this day knowing things will never be the same. The joy, the sadness, and the anger were all things I once had. And then the numbing happened. And that scared me because it gave me the loss of respect, even for myself. I started thinking and waking up to the fact that now, I need to make a change in my life and not let the same abusive patterns continue. Little did I know, I was already trapped. Trapped in a mindset I couldn't free myself from. To this day, I wonder, did he ever love me? Or was I just a pawn, a toy, or his little golden retriever? You took me for granted and you will never get the same respect back. If you don't believe me, ask mom. She doesn't have that respect either anymore. After this whole situation, I had to relearn how to not let what other people said get to me so much and retrain my mind to not have a mindset like my parents. I think you'd like to know it's beautiful outside. It's for sure frisbee weather and a bit windy. <laughs> so turbulence would catch it, <laughs> but we'd have fun. Forever and always, I miss you and I love you. But a quote from the 13 letters. Do not come back and expect me to welcome you back in. With open arms, you need to work on yourself first. 
I've worked on myself for the past three years. It's your turn now, if you want your baby girl back.